Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the random crystals on my arm. I'm wearing a lot of them. You can't tell. I don't really go into the crystals on my arm too much because I kind of, kind of wish they were all necklaces because they're a hundred times stronger as a necklace, but some crystals are so rare you can't get them in these sizes. For example, Numite. If you can get a Numite in that size, which it's possible, but it takes a long time of obtaining. A long time. I'll probably be able to in the future, but it takes a long time. Authentic Numite's really rare. And I'm going to probably go in color order here, so I'm talking about my bracelets. Random crystals on my bracelet. So I guess I'm going to be looking around in this video and I'll be switching. I'm going to be rotating the crystals on my bracelet to be able to teach about them. So first crystal I'm going to teach about is, let's go straight into it. Isua. They say it's the oldest crystal known to man. It's the black one. Right there. Why do I say they say? It's because they can't decide which crystal is the oldest crystal known to man. Gemologists, scientists, uh, people butt heads over, oh, it's zircon. Oh, it's... So, no, oh, this is 3.8 billion years old. Okay. Let's not focus on age here, but... Uh, so this crystal is basically Isua, if I'm saying the name correctly. I-S-U-A. There we go. So it comes from a very specific place in Greenland. So if I mess up the locations, please correct me because I'm my mind's on the next crystal already. But And I'm probably not going to say all their locations too. Just I'm going to say their mineral properties. So let's go straight into it. It's from Isua. So, and I'm already on hyperesteem already. So let's, let's go into it because I have a lot of crystals. Let's go straight into it so that this crystal is for destruction no oh, it's for destruction it's for destroying things bet you didn't expect i was gonna say that so it's for pure annihilation it's for destroying things it's for breaking things apart and people are like what did you just say it's for darkness it's for not for evil because darkness is not evil when i'm talking about darkness here i'm talking about Darkness ruled upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and said, Let there be light. This crystal was at the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. That means it was dark on the earth. There was no light. The first light was God that moved upon the earth. So Isua is the crystal that was just sitting in darkness. It was sitting in just disarray and sitting in chaos. And it has the energies of when God... God himself moved upon the face of the earth and changed the world. Ooh, getting goosebumps. Woohoo! So, basically, a, a lot happened. So, what, what, what do I mean by destruction? It took a lot of destruction for the earth to be without form and void. Basically, in the, in the making of earth to begin with, it took a lot of, uh, you know, when you break down something before you remake it, that's the energy. So, it has the destruction energies of destroying anything in your path and any woman. Yeah. It'll literally take your enemies and they'll have to be, they'll have to reincarnate to have, to basically start over if God lets them. But the, that crystal with your enemies, they have seven days. Okay, so that next crystal, and people are like, whoa, that crystal. So basically, it's a good crystal. From Chaos Comes Order, it destroys all blockages. It just destroys them. It's very, vi I'm going to say it's a very violent crystal. It has very uh, explosive energies. But for the person who wears it, it's calm and it's cool and it's relaxed. Anyone who tries to mess with the person, <laughs> yeah, they return to ash. Okay, next, and what do you mean? Ooh, stone man, what, that's kind of extreme. It's an extreme crystal. That's why it's so rare. Most of, most Isua is fake. Most people just use, sell it as clay. It should be expensive too. Now, let's talk about hypersteam, the next one, little shiny one. Now, the little, they're little tiny black crystals, so I can't talk about them all. So. And yes, I'm adjusting the crystals. So hyperesteem is... Uh, <laughs> I just realized some of these crystals are pretty extreme. Extreme. Extreme and scream. So basically this has the energy... Hyperesteem has the energy of screaming. People are like, well, this is not the video. I thought it would be. It has the energy of screaming. It will literally scream at you if you're on the wrong path in life. It'll literally be like that coach, that PE coach that goes blows a whistle and like the whistle 
you know, really loud, as, as loud as I can and yelling and screaming at you to get on the right path. So with Black Hypersteam, it'll literally, it'll call you out if you're the problem. If you don't drink enough water, it'll make your eye twitch for months until you start drinking enough water. It'll start, it'll literally bring your, uh, if you're the problem, I mean, if you have a friend who's the problem, they'll literally drag their friend to the doorsteps to literally say that they're the problem. It's a screamer. It has screaming energy to it. So Hypersteam's not, I, I never prescribe Hypersteam unless it's someone who's really bold and brave and really wants to go. And it's like Black Moldavite almost. So, Hyper seems extreme. It's pretty, but it's extreme. I'll probably teach more about it in the future. It's, it's, Hyper scene should be an expensive gemstone as well. So, next crystal, Numite. Kind of the same energies of, kind of the same energies of Isua. Pl I mean, Isua is more about destruction and rebirth. New Numite's more about going into past lives, so basically regression. So it gives you abilities of past lives. It can re literally resurrect abilities from past lives. It literally calls them back to existence. So let's just say, in the past life, if you were an archer, and you better believe on some of those, on the other realms, I'm not gonna say what the realms are, you guys do a lot of fighting, and it's not it's not what you think it is. So, so a lot of you are from like military clans or, uh, a lot of you who, for example, I'm not going to say what worlds, but there's a lot of war in the other worlds. Let's just say that. If you think Earth is bad, yeah. If you think you're getting drafted from being a baby and you're, you're already on the military list, that's how the other realm, that's how some of the lo locations in the other realms work. I can't really say too much, but yeah. So, let's go to Black Kyanite. It's the energy return stone. So basically, it gets, it gets your energy back. It restores your energy. Blue and black kyanite can be very intermixed, but the blacker it is, or the darker it is, the more black it is, the more powerful it is at banishing vampires and sending them to the underworld. Yay! And people are like, whoa, what? these black crystals are pretty intense. I, I'm glad you're seeing the trend. That's why black tourmaline is so intense. So let's go down the list. And I'm looking at my arm. Oh, these are just black, different black crystals on my arm, so... Just went to black kyanite. Now, some of them are very similar looking, so... Mm, let's talk about Tektite. Tibetan Tektite. It's a holy stone. It'll literally blow any obstacles out of your way. So there's a trend here. I hope... I'm glad you see the trend. So, it, it basically, it's not Moldavite. People fake it as Moldavite because they found green, greenish Tibetan Tektite, so people are marketing it as Moldavite when it's not. It's, it has a very holy energy. It's very, 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 very explosive to dark energies. It's holy, it's sacred. Just think of anything that comes from Tibet in the mountains where the monks harvest it, it's holy. Now for the next crystal, and yeah, they're all black, so it might be a little out of order. Tourmaline. You know what black tourmaline does. I talk about it all the time. It's the most powerful black crystal ever. Anti-witchcraft, anti-black magic. It's the anti-curse stone. Lava. Yeah, I'm picking up the pace a little bit because I would like to teach. I'd like to teach about my other bracelets because I'm, I'm still on one bracelet. Uh, lava. When lava moves down a hill, is anyone trying to stop it? Is anyone able to stop it? When there's people in a town, and yes, I'm adjusting my bracelets still. When there's people in a town, and they see lava coming down a hill, do you think they're gonna stay in the town? What happens when someone makes you to be their enemy and you're wearing lava? Do you think that, ener that enemy is gonna be able to stand still? If they don't move, they'll get ran over and they'll be destroyed. Yay, so that's the thing about some of these black crystals too, is they're very strong. Very strong. Very, very strong. Like they're insanely strong. You no know, black crystals the same. If you guys just think it means protection, then you probably Googled it, and you were right, but Google's very general, and Google's Google. Next one, and if I look at these and I'm like, I don't know which one's which because they're so they're so dark. That's Shungai, Elite Shungai. I'm going to show you, but it's just going to look like a black stone. Elite Shungai is the purger. It is the ultimate purifier. It's like uh, the anti-plague stone. So... It, it 
similar to Jet. It's very similar to Jet and similar to Jet in how it feels. So Elite Chungai, it looks like paint. It feels like paint. So it should be very rare. It comes from Russia. It literally gets anything out that's in, out. So spiritual radiation, bad energies, it purges it. It's like purge, purge. It gets it all out. When you wear Shungite, you'll probably feel very cold and sleep for a couple of days. But it means you, you've, been de you've been detoxed, especially from 5G. Let's talk about obsidian. Obsidian, black obsidian. Oh, it's the shadow work stone. It's very... It's a very vicious crystal against shadows. It literally amplifies shadows to be destroyed, released, and it's the stone of St. Michael the Archangel as well. He has a couple of stones, such as Lapis Azuli, which I will not make it to in this video. I'll talk about more of it, more crystals, maybe tomorrow or uh, in my next videos. But onyx, black onyx, okay. They call it, you know, other cultures call it the stone of the, the, stone of the night demon. I call it the stone of the night angel. If people have demons, the crystal will kind of work on them to kind of show them they're demons. Onyx literally translates to, in its name, to fingernail or claw. What, what do we know about fingernails? They contain residue. They hold DNA. Same thing as Onyx. So Onyx will literally... And watch my other videos on Onyx, too. So that, Onyx is like the ultimate remembering stone. It remembers. If you get Onyx from someone who is super dark or super evil then the onyx remembers them and you'll kind of be introduced to their energies even after so that's why i don't have onyx at floridastomian.com is because no not because you don't need energies no it's because when you get onyx it should be the most pure it should be not even my energy shouldn't even be on it like even this much of my energy this much but it should be a special way there's a special mirror box ritual that you can do with onyx to make it never have anyone else's energy on it which I'm not going to teach because it, it took me years to find out. And yeah, it's with the mirror box, but it's not what you guys think. And Onyx will basically remember. It can't ever be fully cleansed like that, but it can be cleansed and charged. So it, it remembers everything. It'll remember a face. It remembers people's faces like a an actual system. Next crystal. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's black spy nail. I have to turn the, the crystal bracelet because I have to scroll. I call it scrolling. So, whoops, scrolling. Black spy, spy now. This, is just, this just turned into a random black crystal video. Random black crystal video. It was not meant to be based on black crystals, but I'll just title it random black crystals. Okay, and maybe some brown too. And I'll actually talk about other brown crystals too. So, black spy now. Can you guys guess what the spy nail does? And yeah, these crystals are very extreme. You're like, ooh, black, black, black crystals are very, huh. They're a lot. What the? Why is that? It's because they do the job. They're to purge. They're, they don't play games. It's all about death and rebirth. But death doesn't mean like dying. It means the death of things that are trying to end you or end the rebirth of things around you. So Black Spinel, just think about it like this. I haven't talked about Spinel much. Spinel is Spinel. L. It literally looks like a spine when you mine it. So when you pull it out of the ground, it looks like a spine. It looks like, it looks like a spinal structure. Can we guess what that it, it helps us with? It helps us with a backbone. Let's just say if you have no backbone spiritually or physically, it helps with physical backbones too. Ooh. Disclaimer, this is a spiritual video. Yay. But it actually helps the spine. Which I don't teach about crystals information on physical aspects, but spine L spiritually gives you a spiritual backbone. If you're kind of a, a courage the cowardly dog around people, it'll make you like, woof. It'll make you like a courage the, the courageous bold bulldog, courage, courage the cowardly dog, courage the courageous bull dog, pit bull, whatever. It'll make you like. What, what do you say? Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, that's the energies of Black Spy now. I might have missed some crystals because they're out of order, but let's talk about Jet. Similar to Shungite, it's a purger stone, but it's more of an anti-illness demon stone. So basically there's demons associated with illness. Some demons, their literal job is just to spread illness. So jet takes care of them. If you get authentic jet, which there's not a lot of authentic jet anymore. People just fake it because they can and it's really tough to test. It's not tough to test, but it takes a second to learn how to test jet. People will fake it with anything. Real jet actually feels fake. So our 
Ooh, a pop light, which I missed. A pop light. It's the fireworks stone. So it's not actually in fireworks, nor is it made up of fireworks. That's more of a satisfying, but Apocalypse will literally cause your enemies to explode spiritually. So let's just say that person does, uh, they're on TV often. They're on TV very often. Then if they're doing bad, then they'll get caught. If you have any questions, guys, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I will see you guys next time. I'm going to make a, My next video is going to be completely on brown crystals. Or if you'd like a part two, then ask for a part two. So I had to go through these crystals very quickly. Very, very quickly. It's impressive how quickly. Which I'm glad I covered so many crystals in my video. I, I didn't even cover the, all of them. I didn't cover all of the black crystals in my bracelets. But uh, this is really like rejuvenating for the mind. Because I'm like, wow, I... It's a lot of black crystals in one bracelet, but I taught you guys what they are. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. I'm doing custom necklaces. You can DM Florida Stoneman on Instagram for your custom necklace. Make sure you're DMing on Instagram. Check out FloridaStoneman.com. I have new stuff on the website. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!